I have a swallow looks just like me on the inside. Empty! So to fix that, today I'm going to be making a bunch of DIY swimming cords. To add on to this excitement, I'm doing this as a collab with a bunch of other people. We have Sierra, hey. Book Friends, Hello, Rafael, I'm Rafael. Hey Natalie, guys, hi, Amy. I'm Amy Patsimo. My Christine. name is Kaylee. We're all doing a spring theme, so make sure you go check out the videos. I'm actually really hyped for this, so let's get started. First, we're going to start with the center of the flower and you want to focus the darkest color only to that very corner and then add some lighter colors to the outer wing. Next, make some brush strokes coming from the center and you want these brush strokes to taper off the end. These will be the petals. Keep doing this with the orange, the yellow, and the lighter yellow as well. Don't worry if it looks absolutely disgusting at this point because I don't know what I'm doing either. Let the first layer dry completely before you come back with the yellow and brown to you know, add more texture and define the petals. Finally, whenever you're ready, mix the background color and add it in. You want to stack three layers of tissue paper together like how you stack upon your problems. Then fold them back and forth like how you would fold a fan and secure all of that in with a wire or like a pipe cleaner. The next part of this is me sitting on my floor at 11 o'clock trying to finish this video by painting some boots. Afterwards, we're going to arrange the flowers onto the boots and I guess the trick is to keep everything like close, knitted, and balanced out. Then I pass out on my bed and waited for the glue to dry overnight. First, let's talk about setup. So I have this thing that pops up the painting. You need to find something that will do that for your canvas and make sure that you protect the floor. Okay, so start by tracing the silhouette of something holding an umbrella. So you want to flip to the back of the drawing and cover whatever you want to trace with some graphite. Then put your drawing over the canvas and start tracing. There will be an imprint when you flip over the drawing. Wow! The actual painting part is just dripping a bunch of watery acrylic down from the top. Just make sure when it reaches the umbrella part, you divert the paint along with the contours of the umbrella. So it looks like, you know, the umbrella is actually doing its job. They turned out pretty well. Good job, me. That's what I can do. I'm sorry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I don't know, your favorite DIY out of all the ones that I've made. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.